was shocked to learn that homeless women veterans are underserved. Most of the live-in transitional programs are for male veterans only. Beds for homeless women veterans are nowhere near parity with beds available for homeless male veterans. And facilities specifically for women have little experience supporting women who have suffered physical and emotional trauma while serving their country. I had the opportunity to be the chaplain at the 2014 Sacramento County Veterans Stand Down. The need for veteran services is already so great. This year's stand down was limited only to assisting those veterans who are currently homeless. One in 10 of the veteran attendees at that stand down was a woman veteran. The 30 women veterans filled the two tents set aside for them and they could have used the third tent. And there are no resident facilities for women veterans in this area. Homeless women veterans need a sanctuary from the many stresses of homelessness. And having a place to call your own takes away many stressors from your daily existence. So does knowing you won't go hungry tomorrow or the next day or the day after that. The Joy House already has a network of experts that have helped women veterans apply for benefits, health care, and training and education programs earned by all our military veterans. And the Joy House 3-Point Wellness System mirrors proven military practices that foster resiliency, healing, and growth. The Joy House can be that sanctuary. It's a sober living transitional facility. Residents will pay monthly for room and board. And with four residents, the Joy House will be financially self-sustaining. Businesses and individuals have already pledged furniture such as beds and desks, couches and chairs, bedding and linens and utensils, and even pots and pans for the kitchen. We have a catch-22 though. The key to unlock those pledged donations and make the Joy House real is to have a facility, a home for four to six women veterans. We've run the numbers and we need at least $32,480 to sign a lease on a facility and begin serving those who answered the call to protect and defend our country. Please give to the Joy House and to those women who have served our country.